Thanks again for coming to Father Son Night, Grandpa. It is my honor to be invited. I have great respect for teachers. Raise you! <laughs> I am a poor substitute for your father. But if Ken were alive, he would be here for you. This is so awesome! All the thrill of a parent-teacher conference with added familial male bonding. Yeah, this is a hoot. It looks like your dad's having fun, too. But only one fly. But your grandpa is kind of hogging him. He hasn't even met my honor science teacher yet. Okay, Professor. Let's go rescue him. Let's <laughs> ah! <laughs> should be more careful with your dad's drink. Away. You don't have a dad. I don't see your dad anywhere, Carney. Does he hate being around you as much as everyone else does? Like you even know anything about having a father. It is Father Sun Night, Carney. Does your father plan on showing up? Duh. He's running late because he has a real job, coach. He practically runs this town. Well, how about you run outside and wait until he gets here? Let's go. Forget it, Ray. Carney's a jerk. In my experience, those who try to make others unhappy are unhappy themselves. Now, where is my punch? Oh, yeah. I tell you what, I will get refills. You guys go ahead. Hey, Carney, you ready to finish what you started? You wanted to fight. Try not to be such a klutz. You don't want to smell like garbage when your dad gets here. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe your dad ain't rotten in a hole. Maybe he took one look at his mutt kid and ran away like a coward. <laughs> You're done, Carnahan. Your dad can pick you up in detention. Are you hurt? No. Did you see that? What I saw was a boy who cannot control his anger. I know. He just hit me in front of everyone. I meant you, Raiden. I know you're mad, Oji-san, but you didn't hear everything that Carney said. He said that I didn't know what it meant to have a father. He said that Dad just ran off. He said- Carney say, Carney say. Do you care what Potato say or what Rock say? But- When there is no choice, you must fight. But tonight, you had a choice and chose wrong. I was only sticking up for Dad. I don't understand how that's wrong. Then I suggest you meditate until you do. You're so much like him, you know? Oh, Mom, come on. I know. Meditating. Very serious. Your dad couldn't stand injustice either. That man would go out of his way to make things right. And with a little patience, he usually succeeded. Help me out here, Dad. 
May I point out, as usual, that this is an unfathomably bad idea. As usual. Somebody has to teach Carney a lesson. Look at this place. He has everything, and he's still a jerk. I agree with Gabriel. I'm unsure what lesson we can teach this boy. You know I have no time for your ridiculous father-son night. I'm sorry. I, I thought... Uh, I'm sorry you had to come get me. If I thought you were smart enough to navigate public transportation, you'd be on a bus. But then I'd be spared my humiliating daily visit with school authorities. But, Dad, the, the detention wasn't even my fault. This other kid told... I don't care. I am this close to sending you away to boarding school just so I won't have to look at your face. Just... stay out of my way. That was harsh. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd feel sorry for Carney. Yeah, he gets bullied way worse than he bullies me. It is not the boy who needs to be taught a lesson. Uh, still a bad idea. Excuse my delay. I have a minor but chronic nuisance in my life. Your son is not a nuisance. He's your flesh and blood. And if you dare speak one unkind word to him again, I will chain you to the bottom of the lake of fire! Yeah. I'll call you back. You. You're Tatsurian the Unchained. Huh? And I'm guessing your little duelist is here too. The boy? Raiden, is it? Raiden? Raiden? Oh, Ray? I told you this was a bad idea! I'm gonna find out what's up. If there's trouble, call for backup. If there's trouble? Wait! Ah, uh, there you are. How do you know about us? Oh, you'd be surprised by the things I know. Right on time. Not so fast, Wonder Boy. Legionnaire Liz. Hmm. Lock up your gauntlet, and you're just a helpless little whelp. You three, check the perimeter for the other brats. This definitely constitutes trouble. Texting for reinforcements. <laughs> What are you doing here? We tend to investigate mana surges at the home of our largest benefactor. What is going on out here? <gasps> Dad! What is this? What are those things? Show some spine, boy. These creatures are from another world, one that's spilling into our own. But I am backing someone who can exploit it to my advantage. You? Work with the Choten? A silent partner. Until my nitwit son brought the war to my doorstep. Congratulations. You're actually worse than useless. Uh, Is the half-breed ready for transport? I do everything! Galso! Razor Kinder! Put him down! <laughs> Now contain him this time. Leave him alone! Somebody stop the kid. End the duelist. In the fire realm with a half conscious creature and no gauntlet, I put Ray's chances of survival somewhere around zero. And my son? Yes, well, his chances are somewhat... less. You have my apologies. The 
Am I alive or... Oh no. I didn't expect to go to heaven, but... I must be in... The Fire Realm. My home. Uh, a giant talking demon! I guess that settles it. Don't worry. We're not staying... Let me... try. Okay, you keep feeding yourself to the demon. I'm leaving. He's not a demon. He's my friend. And he's our only chance at survival here. I don't need your help. Fine. See if I save your life again. Take cover! What is that thing? It's a dragon with rocket launchers. What's it look like? A little more left. And... Fire! Nice shooting, if I do say so myself. Merely winged him. He'll be back with friends. Friends? You mean there's more of those things? There's a lot worse than that. We need to find you cover until you get your strength back. There is a place. Not far. But I can barely stand. Talk about uncomfortable. This is like sitting on a rusty scrappy. You're welcome to walk. You know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be here. If it wasn't for you, none of us would. But I guess it's your dad's fault for turning you into a bully in the first place. You don't know anything about my father. He's a great man. In my experience, the so-called great make poor fathers to their sons. You're a giant fire monster. What do you know? Me and my dad are fine. Yeah. That's why he told you all about how he's working with an evil genius bent on taking over the world. Oh, wait a minute. No, he didn't. And he called you worse than useless. Hey! How many times have I told you? Don't eat the merchandise! You just volunteered to be replacement merchandise. I'm happy to fight, but business before pleasure. I found an old friend of yours. And I think the bounty is big enough to share. This is your safe place? Graveyards of the fallen heroes of fire are sacred. No one with honor would battle here. Now this is what I'm talking about. He's probably the richest, most powerful guy here. It doesn't matter how rich and powerful he was. He still ended up in a cemetery. <sighs> Whatever. The people knew not to mess with this guy. Or his family. Many did fear this dragon, including members of his family. Who was he? Napalmian the Conquering. My father. So, I guess bounty hunters aren't so big on honor? He's gone to report our position. We'll have to make our stand here. Man, I wish that your dad was around. No, you don't. <laughs> the graveyard. At least they won't have far to go when we're finished with them. Lord Skycrush will be glad it sent you.
Can't believe you're a dragon. That's so awesome. I'm part dragon, a half-breed, and dragons look down on all other creatures. So living among them wasn't awesome at all. Weird how intolerant some people can be about being mixed race, huh? I was tormented by the children my father was proud of. My siblings. And he never lifted a claw to stop it. He wouldn't even acknowledge I was his son. He was too great and important for that. We're gonna need a solid strategy. I wonder what Gabe would do. First, we remove their advantage of air power. Then divide and conquer. Wow, Gabe would be proud. I was well trained in warfare. My father saw to that much. They still outnumber us, so we need to divide if we're gonna conquer. Give me one of your launchers. You're just gonna stand there? Why should I help? They're not after me. I'm not even with you guys. They don't know that. You're dinner to them either way. There's that bounty hunter. when you don't miss. Five to one, Tatsurian. Not the best odds. For you. Once again, for the last time, his carcass will fetch us a hefty reward. And the snow sprites here will make a nice little supper. I can't believe you actually thought hiding in your father's shadow would save you. I can see the family resemblance, but you're really nothing like it. Thanks for reminding me. Hey, get back here! Why aren't you chasing him? We gotta finish him off! The fight's over, Carney, and we only fight when we have no choice. I think you spoke too soon. Not this time. <laughs> ah, finally. Thanks, Master Nadia. And now for your friend. Stop him. We must wipe that boy's mind before he can spread word of his travels. Wait. His father works for the Choten, and for the first time, Carney understands what that means. 
You would just let him go? You chose not to be like your father. He should get the same choice. It is possible he could lead us to the Chotan's lair. This is a bad idea. I have to say I'm surprised and impressed you made it back alive. I have something for you. I had my doubts you'd ever be ready for it. But after tonight, you just might be worthy of my name. I'm sorry I lost my temper with Carney. I know Dad wouldn't want that. Raiden, I know you try to do what is best. And wherever your father is, he would be very proud of that. <laughs> <laughs>